and miraculous births, and therefore the Son of God was begotten. See, the creation of Jesus was easy, but you seem to have forgotten. That God says be, and it is, just like with Adam, a concept too complex for the church to merely fathom. Channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and, you and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction but before we get into the reaction guys we want to thank everybody for giving us uh, these reactions and everything that we've been reacting to you the realest MVP and uh, thank you also for uh, following sorry thank you also for subscribing to the channel you're also the realest MVP and if you want to be the first person to get notified when we post our videos just go down on our description below and so just go down on the subscription button below it there's that uh, notification bell just hit it and you'll be the first person whenever we post our videos to watch and yeah um another thing is that if you want us to do any kind of vlog or whatever challenges just let us know in the comment section and we're gonna do it for you guys and yeah so right about now what we're gonna do we're gonna react to uh why I hate religion but love Jesus, Muslim fashion, spoken word response. And this one, huh? and this one was suggested by um, the Samson guy, he's 88, you're the real time MVP. So without any further ado, let's get it. Look, what if I told you there was something you were missing? What if I told you that Jesus doesn't really fit into your description. What if I told you that follower of Christ doesn't automatically mean Christian and just because you believe in faith doesn't mean Jesus didn't believe in submission and conviction. Listen, you say Jesus was God and that God had descended. We say Jesus was man for Jesus was dependent. Our God is all great and cannot be comprehended. You say that God was murdered or do you believe that he pretended? See, God gave us brains and God gave us logic. But I guess God wanted us to use them in everything else except for this topic. It's like wearing a cross and proclaiming that you love Jesus when if God was murdered on the cross, the cross really shouldn't please us. I mean, would you be wearing an axe if it was used to chop your mother up into pieces? See, this is what happens when you believe in faith but fail to believe in reason. See, we used to worship the Creator until Satan turned us to the creation. We began to worship the people and neglect the one who made them. We began to believe that God had died, but how could a God even be created? A miraculous birth, and therefore the Son of God was begotten. See, the creation of Jesus was easy, but you seem to have forgotten. That God says be, and it is, just like with Adam. A concept too complex for the church to merely fathom. But he was the creator of the universe for all we know even more. And so what if we can't see him? I mean, what you acting like our universe is small? I mean, there's still so much we're still yet to explore. I mean, there's still so many things as human beings we still haven't seen, touched, heard, or saw. I mean, our eyes can't even handle the sight of the sun. So how can we possibly handle the sight of our Lord? See, Jesus used to pray, but in your opinion, who did he pray to? I mean, if Jesus was God, surely prayer would be of no use. Or did he only require it when he needed to know the truth? Like when God wasn't sure whether it was the season of the fruit. Or maybe he prayed when there was something he couldn't do. Like when he said, I of myself can do nothing. But you took it as there's nothing he couldn't do. See, no one used to worship Jesus, so ask yourself, why do you? A concept so straightforward, but has left so many confused. See, Jesus preached one God, but the church has failed to practice. And I mean, you don't have to be that dumb to know that one plus one plus one equaling one isn't necessarily gonna give you a pass in mathematics. See, the church said three, when Jesus said one. Jesus said God, when the church said son. Jesus never said worship me. Rather, he said, pray, but you chose him to worship Jesus, despite everything he used to say. You began to think with your emotion and forgot to think with your mind. I guess you didn't pay attention when Jesus says, our father, 
yet never says mine. You claim to be a follower of Christ, yet you still choose to eat swine. And you call yourselves Christians, but in your churches you're busy drinking wine. And just to clarify, I do love Jesus. Matter of fact, I love him more than you. Because when Jesus said do something, I actually do. However, I'm not connected with the church nor with the Bible. See, I love Jesus as my prophet, but refuse to worship him as an idol. Just like he wanted and proclaimed it as sin. So it doesn't really matter if they don't let him in because Jesus wouldn't even want to be in the presence of people worshiping an idol of him. An act of God, bolt of lightning went straight through the outstretched hand of Jesus. This cannot be a coincidence. Before I move on, there's something I need to mention. The worshiping of Jesus, Jesus is a man-made invention. He never asked for your worship so he can grant you protection. Rather, he asks you to alternate your prayers towards another direction. To God and God only and pray that he accepts them. And know that just because you love Jesus, doesn't mean he feels the same way about your affection. See, what you believe in is exactly what he resented. Matter of fact, it's everything he despised. See, the worship and creation goes against the very message he supplied. So you began to follow a religion and called it love in disguise because love can be good, but love can be blind. Giant Jesus is no more. You're there to bring that, <laughs> that lady. This is gonna be a major. Looks like. I really wish I could do what you done. Do what? The spoken line thing. It's so easy. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, there's some truth in it about uh, Jesus. Christians, Christians do what? Do worship him and not uh, no, I mean he was a man, yeah? But according to Christianity they say he was the son of God. And then um, Christians he was still a man. Yeah, he was still a man. So we're not supposed to worship. We're supposed to worship the the supreme being. Or the, the person who created us. I get it. I mean, whoever created us, as the one they were supposed to worship. And there's some truth in it. I mean, most of the. I don't know if it's the, it's, it's 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 a misleading type of thing, but um, why are we calling Jesus God? Who calls him God? Most of the most of the Christians. That's where the confusion comes. You see, like the That's son of God, said. like the son of God, and the then, son of God. That doesn't make you God. Yeah, but but, but you know they worship him like the real God. It's confusion. You're yeah. not understanding. Mm -hmm. That's like he was trying to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's so much to talk about in in, in this in this. Okay, there's this part when he's talked about um, you see. We eat swine, pig, and we, we practice Christianity or something like that. And then we are drinking wine and whatever. What do you think about that? What the part you said? Yeah. Is wine bad? If 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 you if you're Christian, you're supposed you're not supposed to drink wine. That's what he was saying. Yeah. I don't know. If you if you're Christian, you're not supposed to eat swine. That's what he was saying. I have a a, a notion whereby it doesn't matter whether you're eating a swine, a, a goat, or whatever. Eating flesh is not actually for me. I don't condone that. I, I feel like it's so bad. So for him to say like you're Christ, you, you eat swine or you probably practice is this Christianity. Okay, I don't know what what he said actually, but I think that what he meant. I mean, nobody is 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 uh, is entitled to kill another animal and feed on it and stuff like that. The meat, I mean, the, the meat, the meat point, part. The, the meat part, I understand. What about the wine part? The wine part is um, why? Because people become foolish when they drink. 
The wine part, I don't have to say about the wine part, but I feel like I'm curious. When you drink a lot of alcohol, you tend to lose it. You get it. Some of this, uh, according to the ancient knowledge, uh, this this um, alcoholic stuff were used to uh, to open portals, like they were used uh, for spiritual purposes. But nowadays, we are abusing them, like. We are drinking this wine to uh, to do to feel good, to for pleasure, for all this type of thing, for digestion. Like I was saying, I like this guy and the way he brings out his points. It's true, just because you believe, is it Jesus Christ doesn't make you a Christian, or is it the other way around? I don't even know. Just because you have faith doesn't mean you're also a Christian. You can have faith, but to believe in something else. What else do you talk about? I think those are the things I was talking about. And the other point you mentioned of, um, I still think people are confused between Jesus and God. That's why people are so fond of or unknowingly praise or worship um, Jesus. Um, this is a nice piece right here. Shout out to the guy who did the spoken word and whatnot. And uh, we want to thank um, Fees88 of the Wheel SMVP for giving us this reaction of the Wheel SMVP. And the most, uh, if uh, if you feel like you guys this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to put down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction, what you feel about the spoken word in here. Just let us know in the comment section below. And if you want us to do a lot of reactions, just let us know uh, what type of reaction that you want us to do. We can do same type of reactions and stuff like that. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. Last but not the least, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.